like a microphone on my on my, my that's the mute <laughs> if, you, if you click it you mute yourself if you don't want yeah. everyone to hear you hear hear your dogs barking or something oh yeah suzanne's gone <laughs> Yeah, you have to. Yeah, I'm the, back. There you go. I was just trying to find more settings here. There's not as many settings on your, on your. Um, oh, there you go. If you double click on the screen, you might have some. At the bottom on mine, there's a video and a mute, and you can see the participants. Uh, as or you can. There's a more button where you can. Send a clap yeah. or stuff. I looked at that. But uh, there's definitely less you can do on uh, yeah. your there's cell phone. About, there's about a on 15 or 20 second delay to the live stream on YouTube. But it's working. It's on now. The, the live stream is on. And uh, it records automatically. What a wonderful world we live in. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, I wish we could uh, I wish we could apply this these wonders to this this uh, pandemic we're experiencing. <laughs> Maybe uh, eventually some smart guy will figure out what to do and uh, free us all from these shackles. <laughs> a lot of them are working on it. Oh gosh. Uh, can you imagine um, Creating a, a cure for this, you know, a vaccine and, and uh, charging $10 a hit for it. How much money you're going to make times a billion. <laughs> Except it'll all be through some drug company. <laughs> well, uh, you, know, you know, Bill Gates and all his wisdom warned us about this very situation. Yes. Um, yes. He's very smart. He's right there. Yeah, in 2015. The, uh, Right, right there in the in the trenches, you know, with all this stuff. Mm -hmm. It's uh, different. When uh, I hear people talk about, oh, it's a conspiracy, you know, to yeah. to uh, control the economy or something. I said, no, no, it's no people. <laughs> destruction is bad. We, nobody wants this. It's nobody planned it. It's not a plan. Although the Chinese, um, I, you know, I wrote my I write my congressman two or three times a week. Probably hates me. <laughs> um, you know, um, just giving my advice and and um, my observations and any difficulty I might have with the government, the federal government, I. Um, I wrote that, uh, that, you know, when I was a boy in the 50s and 60s, I had all the Chinese uh, diseases, Asian flu, Hong Kong flu, swine flu, measles, uh, and people were drop or dying around me like flies. I mean, you know, I lost schoolmates, I lost relatives, I lost neighbors. I can remember um, it, it was like Middle Ages. People had to put sheets on their front doors. You know, you put a sheet across your front porch or your door so that no one will come in. It's, a, it's, it's an indication to anybody who wants to come to your house not to come to the house because, well, uh, they did this with diphtheria. Can you imagine? Ugh. Um, and of course, polio was was prevalent then. Um, and of course, I remember getting the uh, uh, the sock vaccine and the uh, the pox vaccination on my shoulder. Smallpox. And should it be in a COVID one? Say again? Was it in this country, the small Oh, yes. Vaccine? Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, I thought they didn't do it in this country. I thought it was just in other countries. No. I, oh, back I, then I, they did. Uh, it was in the early 50s. When you were, yeah, when you were a kid. I was, 
tiny like this. I was only this big. Yeah. <laughs> uh, giving the, you know, the the scratch they scratch, you know, and put a, a thing over it. Put yeah. the uh the stuff, whatever it is, and it makes a big well pot pustule. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah, I did all that. Um then a few years later, the, this um, Sabin guy made an oral polio vaccine because polio come, never leaves. It's always here. It's, it's in the wild. You can't get rid of it. So everybody has to be vaccinated regularly all over the world. There's still polio in other countries. It's terrible. Um, I, I can remember going to visit people in the hospital in iron lungs. My aunt and my dad both got polio. And uh, actually, my aunt was homesick for several years, and she still has a limp yes. 60 years later today. It my dad had it very minorly, but uh, yeah. so you don't know, notice anything. N nerve but. damage, yeah. It always... It attacks the longest nerves, the ones in your feet first, and then it moves up. And uh, it, you know, back then in the 50s, they didn't know what to do about it. And, it, you know, it paralyzed people's diaphragms. Of course, the iron lung was the only way they survived. Now, this is, when I think about iron lung, this, you know, now we have what's called the, um, the ventilator. It's a tube that goes into the lungs, right? When they talk right. about ventilators, it's not pleasant. They stick a tube into your lungs. Yee. And the machine I think micro, yeah. It the machine has sensors on the tube and microprocessors. So you couldn't uh, stand it. Right. Yeah. Um but well, most of the time they sedate people to do it. It's yeah, not, they, yeah. Yeah, they they put them out. <laughs> Oh, it's terrible. Well, um, now that what they do in Europe, they have a reverse iron lung. It's a bubble that goes over your head and it pressurizes your lungs from from your neck. Uh, whereas an iron lung, you go into it and it, pre it operates your lungs from the other way, uh, expanding your chest. So, um, that's called a ventilator. No, no, it's called a respirator. The respirator doesn't go into your into your lungs. It uh, it it's for, you know, the the um, when you watch the TV um, shows where you know that they pick somebody up, put them on a gurney, and they put the mask over their face. That's a that's a respirator. Um. So those are the options. So, how many options? people do we have? What's that? How so many that, people? It looks do we like have? we're still just the four of us. There's four That's of us okay. now. I can't Thank tell you. how many people are on the stream. The audio streams current. Bit or right. did it change? Um. There. Oh yeah, it shows. I have two viewers on the live stream. Suggestion. It says the stream's bitrate is lower than the recommended bitrate. We recommend that you use an audio stream bitrate of 128. Oh, you. Yeah. Let's see if I can undo yours. Let's see. Now, so I can see your iPad, Karen, is your your camera is off. If you go to, so if you can, you see the people in here. I, I can only see I can only see you and Jay at times. Okay, if you click on the bot, do you have a thing that says participants at the bottom? Mm, I have just uh, you. It says you were speaking. But if bottom. you click, if you if you click on the screen somewhere at the bottom, do you have? Okay, if you click on the screen again. Um, if you, you just click on the black area where um, 
It should be like one that says mute, another one says stop audio, share, yeah. Yeah. participant, and then more. If you click yeah. on the participants, okay. um, it will oh, take okay. you. And then you can see it says Karen's iPad. And oh, on the yeah. right side, you have the uh, video off. Okay. And, uh, All okay. right. I'm going to switch to the Bitstream for a minute. So I have the... So now I see something. Yeah, yeah, there you are. There you are. Oh my. Okay. <laughs> Very yeah, good. I'm not sure how to change. Thank you, now. Suzanne. The stream. <laughs> I'm not sure how to change the stream. Audio. So, uh, yeah, so if you click at the bottom underneath the four people. Go. The screen comes up, and if you click on the more button, there's other things you can do, like raise your hand. Um, you can make flat, more, you can go vertical. horizontal instead of vertical. And um, you can also do like uh, if if uh, like somebody comes in, you can push the mute button, or if you need to leave, you can temporarily mm -hmm. stop the video and then come back. I've had people do that that are like eating. <laughs> yeah. And they don't have to <laughs> so, their um, mouth full, so they just temporarily like, I'm gonna chew a carrot and then they stop the video and then they get try, back after. Try to done. keep your nose in the center of the image. <laughs> so if, if if you're down in the bottom, you need to tilt your phone down. <laughs> There. Only so you can see people anyway. So yeah. That's yeah this, so, you can, so your chin needs to be just below center. <laughs> this is called um, screen <laughs> etiquette. YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. As such, viewers will experience buffering. Oh. <laughs> well, you know what that is? That's because I don't have enough upstream bandwidth. Oh, and then you see at the bottom there is a share thing. This is something I thought we could use later too. You saw how you clicked on participants. You can also click on the share. Okay, don't for, do, don't not do just share for right you. Don't do uh, share but, right now. No, uh, but like if we want to keep doing this, if you click on the share, we could, for instance, have a meeting where everybody shares different photo and then you can click photo. Right, right. but it needs to be, I, I need to manage it. And I haven't figured out how to do that exactly. Because if you click on share screen, it, it takes over. So, um, and I need to do this to do my presentation. Yeah, yeah, but if we do that in the future, I was just trying yeah. to show it. Since yeah, uh, I'll try to do that uh, after my presentation so that people can show their, their pictures. No, it's okay. I don't have any pictures ready, but just... No, I don't have any pictures. <laughs> I don't either. Okay, there you go. Okay, so starting in 10 minutes, I'll start... Um, at seven, I'll start the, the, my presentation. So how is my Sounds audio? Good. Is it okay? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. So give us an idea where everyone is. Chime in Home. with your location. <laughs> Home. <laughs> Lumpo. Home. We're all in Lumpo. Home in my craft room slash home office. Yeah. Slash quarantine area. Okay. I I see your sewing machine back there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> been making masks. Oh, you've been sandwich. making masks. Oh, yeah. Oh, wonderful. It's very nice. Yeah, we were just watch. We were gonna watch a movie later, so we moved to the movie room. So we were just laying down watching, and we'll do it later. It's okay. I almost forgot about the thing today. Uh, this situation hasn't really changed my life that much. <laughs> I'm a I'm a homeboy. I mean, I'm here, you know. Um, but it's nice not to have to commute five days a week down to Santa Barbara. So I'm I'm enjoying that. Uh, um, 
to me, Santa Barbara is 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 a double vacation. I'm on vacation now, <laughs> retirement <laughs> vacation. And going to Santa Barbara is a vacation uh, from my vacation. Because <laughs> living here in Lompoc is like a vacation. It's it's this place is wonderful. It's nice. The I'm weather gonna, today was very well, unusual. It got over 80 degrees. It was pretty damn hot, I think, but <laughs> I was out walking in it. It was hot. My dog thought it was hot, but I actually really liked the rain last week because when you go out, nobody else is out. And everything is green. And it's very green from it. Yeah. Lush. And it was nice when it rained, actually. You got raindrops on everything and everything got extra lush from the and, water on them and shiny yeah so um, that was pretty nice but yeah i don't know i'm not keen on this whole stay at home thing but i mean i understand the purpose of it but as in choice of if there wasn't a virus i definitely wouldn't be staying at home all the time I, I had to spend well you just hours. got home you've been gone for how many weeks and seven <laughs> <laughs> yeah but <laughs> We, we yeah, still just to, got home. Where'd you go? I know, but we still have to do quite the major changes than what you normally do when you travel, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, you usually you get to these cute little towns and, you know, we might go to a little restaurant and try out the lo local food and, and we couldn't do any of that. And we didn't really want to do grocery shopping because especially not in a small town, just in case we were, you know, asymptomatic you, since you don't know. And, you know, so you got to keep a distance to every single person wherever you are. You got to pick your trails that you're walking and, you know, carefully so you don't bump into people and try to make it more. I mean, we like remote. So in that sense, a lot of the stuff we did, we would have done anyways, because we like to not be on super private places as it is and have a place to ourselves, which can be kind of difficult. But yeah, I I don't know how you guys have done it. You've been staying at home, I think. <laughs> yeah. I'm like going a month. <laughs> Except for a couple of little forays here and there. Well, I, I go out in photography. I go out too on trails around here that are wide and not very much used. I haven't really seen a person on the trails I've been going on so far. A lot of last week was really wet too, though. People don't like to go out when it's wet. I was actually surprised. We drove down to Halama and we thought maybe we'd just be looking out at the view, but we parked at the very, very end, you know, right where the camping, right when you get in and then at the camping. And then we just walked straight through the campground and we did not walk within 50 feet of anybody. There so was they, hardly anybody down there. They, uh, they're really... not collecting uh, entrance fees now? Is that? No. And I thought it would just be so crammed that, you know, we take area with it was, and there's no one there. It's amazing. I know. I mean, there were probably six, seven people on, on the water, like way out doing the wind, the whatever it's called, the surfing with the, not the wind kite surfing. Kite surfing. Kite surfing. Yeah. That's for young people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it's you know, closed. Think, yeah, it, it's it's closed for camping. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's closed for camping. Well, that's why they, they're camp. not collecting. But they uh, use is okay. Yeah. 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 And actually, that was surprising that it was actually okay. I think the mission is probably the busiest place around here. Other places might be better. I don't know. Well, I remember in, uh, gosh, when was it? The, People did good anyways the with the social distancing. Early 80s, visiting central Baja. And the beaches there were, the, it, it's like sugar sand, sh white sugar sand beaches. As far as the eye can see with no one there. So you take your clothes off. I mean, you, there's no one there. You can walk around naked for days and never see anyone <laughs> it's wonderful so oh. you get sunburned that's, yeah. that's a great, that's a, and in places you don't want to get sunburned too yeah, <laughs> yeah. 
No, um, but it sounds like a nice place to be during a uh, quarantine, though. Yes, exactly. And uh, all you need for food is, um, a, you know, a snorkel and a um, a staff. To, you know, <laughs> yes, a, yeah. Here. A trident. Yes. A sheep's yeah. head, big sheep's head. And a Corona beer. <laughs> and a Corona beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, yeah. I mean, there are some good things with this whole thing. I mean, if you have to look at it, the some positive side. The one positive side is everybody else, or a lot of people I know, are usually so busy, it, they don't really have time to talk. Yes. Oh. Well, I had to yeah. spend several hours in front of the police station last night to try and get their attention because they're not. They're busy, you know. Um, and a bunch of people showed up needed, needing to talk to the police. So uh, we just, you know, we sat across from each other, you know, 20 feet away from each other. And we just talked at each other. It was, it was actually quite sociable. Everybody was in a good mood to be able to talk, you know. Yeah. It was pretty cool. Okay, we're nearing that magic moment. Suzanne dropped out. Mm. Oh boy, YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. Yeah. Oh boy, well, I can't help that. You know, I can always increase my uh, bandwidth, but it requires spending more money. That the Comcast has us by the um, the short hairs, <laughs> as they say. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I call them Comcastrator. <laughs> that's what that's what they're doing. They're taking them. So so uh, that. They're just raking in the cash and not doing much for it. Uh, yeah, all of these uh, Dish TV, Dish Network, all these, it's just incredible how much they're charging. Yes. Um, you go to South Korea and everybody has, you know, 100 megabits synchronous. You know, for fifteen dollars, Japan is the same way. High bandwidth. The problem with Japan is they they um, they filter everything. You can't do, you know, VPN or um, encrypted streaming or any of that stuff. They even they even filter some of the YouTube channels. China's even worse. There's no YouTube in China. So there's no point in having higher bandwidth. Right. South Korea mm -hmm. is very flexible there. And of course, uh, Western Europe. He has entered. Oh, someone else wants in? Yes. Susie. No? Okay, it's time for my presentation. <laughs> Oh, I wish the uh, I wish I had more bandwidth. Okay, so I'm going to move. Hey, sorry, it. my cell phone died. Oh yeah, you look better. Oh no. <laughs> so I'm at my computer now. That's good. Okay, I'm going to move the camera, so don't don't be alarmed. Okay, how's that? We don't need the coffee in the way, do we? Okay, everybody knows what this is, right? That was yep. a question. Yes. <laughs> yes. Mine just died. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Um. 
I think I can I can go to full screen. Let me try that. Speaker view. What is a speaker view? There we no. I guess this is okay. We can we can deal with uh oh wait, I know how to change this. Let me try it. If you put if you do the share screen, I think you'll take up the whole screen. Okay, I'll try that. Maybe. Uh, screen, screen, screen. No, he's trying to do I the whole screen for him. Oh, so let's do, the let's do share. There we go. So the problem is, I I need this. I need my camera. Let me uh. Touch. I wish a video preview. Share screens side by side. Let's see if that does it. No. Stop share. I don't know. Share screen. If I go to share screen, then I can't see the video. Record. Share screen. I don't know. In the on mine in the right upper corner. There is a speaker view. Yeah, but with anyone, if anyone talks, it switches to their screen. Oh, you can just mute everybody. Okay. You can, you can do that. Okay, I'll do that. How do I do that? Share. No. I want to edit profile. Stop video. What is it? Share. Edit. Pro it, mute my audio. I'm, I'm still learning this. Damn. Edit. Pro no, it doesn't say. What do we do here? Stop video. Pen video, edit profile. It doesn't stay. Hide self view. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to turn everybody back on. Okay. Look, looks like we got a new participant. Yes. So the the um, he hasn't turned on his video yet, but I think his audio is on. Yes. Yeah. Audio. Um, if you click on the bottom of your screen at the participants, it's gonna pop up on the side and show you all the participants, including yourself. And then you can see that the video is crossed out and you can just click on it and you'll be um, visible on video. So this is my little uh, sports cam. If you hold your mouse over the at bottom or closer to the bottom. So this does time lapse. This is one of its features is it does time lapse. So um, when, when I turn it on, I'm watch I'm looking at the screen instead of the <sighs> you hear it turn on. I have a a screen guard here, a lens guard. Okay. It has a touch screen, so I, I touch it there, it has time lapse here. So it allows you to do 
you can set it to 4K. Um, let's see. Uh, time lapse interval. So I have it set at 0.5 seconds. You can see right there, 0.5 seconds. So this is how I create um, just, you know, landscape videos, some of which I'll show. I'll turn this back. I'll turn this off now. I have a little lens guard so I can just carry it around in my pocket. Really great camera. The uh, the sensor in this, even though it's very tiny, it's much better than in my high-end DSLR. Just a really wonderful sensor. Um, so if I share my screen. You can actually click on the screen on the top area. Do you guys get the screen? Uh, if you click on the speaker view on the top right corner, you'll get J to B, and, and everybody else is just a little tiny spot at the top. Yeah. So. No, they're doing a video. Yeah, you're on here. We can see you now. Okay, try and center your face in the in the screen. Um, okay, I'm gonna share my uh, my screen here and show you uh, a time lapse video that I made with the Yi camera. This is Wes Lampo. seconds so it's it, it you know you can you can record entire uh, days or weeks like if you're uh, uh, you know like in construction so the, the local farmer goes by to feed his horses so people stopped and stand right next to the street. Okay, the, the Premiere uh, time-lapse software is called LR Time-lapse available from this website. This guy um, makes a, a, a very good plugin. It's, it's a, uh, a plugin for Lightroom. But to use it, you also have to have Photoshop. So it uses Photoshop to, to adjust each image that, that's recorded. So you can't do time lapse if you don't have those. Or you can't just use this plugin. The you, can't, you, you can't use this plugin. Yeah, just, just not, not this plugin. plugin. Yeah. Right. Um, so so what it what it does, I don't know if you can see this. I hope everyone can see this. Um, on the left part of the screen here, you see these these waveforms. There's a line, there's a blue line, there's a yellow line, and uh, these tutorials show you how to use it. You see here, the, uh, 
it's analyzed the the exposure um, of each frame and and allows you to adjust the exposures. Um, the problem with time lapse is that the light can change so drastically over time that if you just assemble the uh, videos, uh, that's another thing. Uh, you have to have Lightroom and Photoshop to process the images, but you have to have video, a video editor to assemble them into a video. Um, and of course, with Adobe, it's After Effects is the best one. So um, I use several different programs to assemble my videos. I use uh, the old Sony Vegas. Sony Vegas is an excellent program. I don't know why they sold it off. Um, and I use DaVinci Resolve to do my 4K because um, Sony Vegas will not do 4K. So anyway, you see in this frame that each image is, is um, assembled into the Time Lapse Pro uh, plug-in in Lightroom. And it, it, it processes the video. So what you can do is you can you can create um, keyframes. Uh, you can choose particular videos or particular images in in the uh, the sequence of, of images that you recorded, and you can adjust the exposure for a a group of images. So if you're doing um, you know, a cityscape or a landscape where it goes from day to night or night to day, the exposure is going to change drastically. So um, you set your camera to manual and you, you, you can adjust the exposure yourself, but it always glitches, it, all, it always changes. So Lightroom exports the images into Photoshop with this waveform, allows you to adjust the groups of exposures and equalize them all. So it's a it's a, a way to equalize each image over time so that all the images have the same appearance or exposures. Uh, it's a real problem. It was a real problem with doing time lapse with DSLR is that the the, the exposure was always unbalanced. So the, this plugin allows Lightroom and Photoshop to adjust each image so that your exposures are balanced. As you can see here, it, it's worthwhile to watch these videos. Uh, these are the videos. This is the guy who invented the plugin here. He's he's uh, Finnish or something. Um, Swedish, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I just don't use Lightroom, or I don't have Lightroom or Photoshop, so. Yeah, it, uh, it, if you want to do full resolution, you know, these, these um, uh, with a DSLR, you can do five, six, seven, eight K videos. Um, you have to have uh, Lightroom, Photoshop, and After Effects to assemble the videos. They all work together in a suite to produce these, these, um, you know, astrophotography, whatever that you're, you're doing and tracking the Milky Way, whatever. This, this allows you to do really high end time lapse. This is not for the weak minded. <laughs> Let's put it that way. So um, if we go back, let's see, let me, no, that's not it. Tutorials. Sorry about this. So if we go back, if we go to the demos, um, the guy, yeah. See, this looks like Joshua Tree, places in Africa and so on, African skies. This guy is selling these time lapse videos here. So I guess it's one way to make money. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's definitely beautiful to do. It, it, it's, it very, it's very compelling. What once you learn how to do it, um, 
it, it, it's intoxicating because you're you're doing stuff that is um, what what can I say? It's it's almost so realistic because um, the being able to adjust the exposure over long periods where the light changes uh, allows you to create scenes that that you know video that can't be done any other way. Um, and it is possible now with these new cameras to capture video and, and programs like um, DaVinci Resolve can go back in and adjust each frame of a video. This is how these movies are made. This is how they're making uh, uh, what they call HDR. HDR video uh, with movies with these enormously expensive cameras like the RED camera. Um, DaVinci Resolve allows you to go in and adjust each frame. So you can, just like you do with time lapse with a DSLR, uh, you can graduate uh, moving to video and ad adjust the dynamic range of an en entire group of video. So as the camera moves, uh, the light can change and uh, you can adjust the, the dynamic uh, exposure um, in, these, in this new software. Of course, you have to have a computer that is terribly expensive. So all this stuff, is, like I said, is not for the weak-minded. Weak <laughs> I, yeah. I certainly don't want to don't want to tackle it. So let me go back. I'll stop sharing my screen. Let's go back to my to um, the phone. So if I turn the phone on, there's an app here. If I can find it. Here, DS, DSLR controller is what it's called. I think it was $5. So I'm launching it. It doesn't like not finding the camera, so I'm going to cancel. You have to have the camera hooked up for it to launch. So, so what you have to have with your phone, now, uh, this is not Apple friendly, so there are similar programs for the Apple phone, for the iPhone. Uh, but the problem is this cable is about $10. With the iPhone, it's like $60. So, you know, whoa. So what, with the, uh, the Android phone, you can use a tablet, you know, a, a Galaxy Tab or something. So you have to have what's called a... Um, on the go cable, OTG, on the go. Plugs into the phone and has a USB jack. So you you plug the uh, the connector that plugs into your camera here. You see that that plugs into the camera. Focus, focus, focus. Right. This plugs into the phone. So by I plug it into the phone like that, right? And uh, bring in the the famous T3i. That's the T3i. This is my shoe for the uh, port on the on the camera is always active whether it's on or not. I believe. No, no, it has to be on. Okay, so we plug it in. Here, let's move the pointer out of the way. Okay, turn the camera on. All right. Now, what's weird is that you turn the camera on with the USB plugged in, and it doesn't sound like the camera turns on because the USB is taking control over the camera. I'll set the camera down. This is my fisheye lens for time-lapse. <laughs> okay, so we launched the DSLR controller. It's searching for the device. It's supposed to work. Could not find a compatible camera. Huh? 
<laughs> Show me something, right? <laughs> Tell me something. I tested this before we started, so. Okay. Could not find a compatible camera. Huh. That's funny. Well, how embarrassing. Oh, wait a minute. It didn't feel like it was plugged in. There. There we go. Ah! Yeah, see, it launches automatically when it's connected properly. So here we are. There's a... It takes control over the camera. You see how the phone is now in control of the, of the camera. The, uh, the software is streaming the image from the camera to the phone. It's even showing the histogram. You see the histogram here? So we'll move the camera. So at the bottom here, Okay. Now at the bottom here is settings. And down here it says time lapse. So it does a whole bunch of other stuff, but we're interested here in time lapse. So you set the the um the time you want the bulb to be open. Here I have it set for 60,000 milliseconds, which is 60 seconds. You know, like for doing astrophotography. You say, okay. And you're presented with a screen with a bunch of buttons on it. Now, in the middle here, I don't know if you can see, it says interval one minute, five seconds, shots, four. I have it set for, for, for four. And of course, a time lapse. For one every mi a minute and five seconds, you want, um, you know, if you if you record 60, that's a little over an hour. But that's only 60 frames. Um, so if, if you assemble a video of it, it it's only a second long. So so uh, you have to to adjust things appropriately. So um, it'll. It'll even record, uh, control the focus, and um, you set the time between intervals because the camera and the phone, the software, cannot respond if you don't have a space between each frame. So that's that's stuff you have to experiment. So there, there's quite a bit of experiment to do here with this, adjusting these values. That each each one of these buttons is um, adjust the interval, the no, number of shots, and and so on. Uh, you can even adjust for HDR, so it'll take a a group exposures. And of course, you hit the go button, and it and it starts. We don't need to do that here, but for five bucks, I mean, you know, if you have a phone. A cable and your DSLR, you can do time lapse uh, without having to buy one of these multi hundred dollar controllers. You still have to buy Photoshop and that stuff, though. Only if you want to, to make uh, videos from time lapse, you know, high quality, high resolution videos. Now, you can do time lapse with this like for astrophotography, because astrophotography doesn't have uh, that much change in exposure. So if you want to do a two-hour video of uh, the Milky Way, like in August, you know, go, go into the canyons here or out in the desert, um, and it's only, um, what, um, two hours for a minute exposure for each one? That's, that's like... Um, what fifty? That's that's 
120 exposures. You can you can adjust those yourself. What the plugins with Lightroom and Photoshop allow you to do is to do group exposure adjustments. So it, you know if you're doing time lapse on um, say uh, capturing a cityscape where you're you're recording one frame every second or every two seconds where you have hundreds and hundreds of frames it, it becomes a nightmare to adjust the exposures for all of those so that's where um, having the plug-in and you know the software allows you to 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 make these high quality time-lapse videos that you see of course you can always do time-lapse with this this little guy and forego all of that <laughs> And this thing works real well. It just doesn't have this, you know, interchangeable lenses and exposure times and so on. This was 200 bucks. This lens cost almost that much. Okay, time for questions. We're at 7.30. Any questions? No. The uh, the software to control the camera allows me. It, it's like a viewfinder. I can control the the camera uh, remotely. Now the the next generation of the Canons all have Wi-Fi, so this software will connect to the camera with Wi-Fi. You don't have to have the cable, so you can be across the room, or next door, or something. And where does the video save? Does it save on the camera card? Say again. Speak louder. The video? Where does it save? Does it save, does it save on, on the, the camera, camera card? Yes. Yes. Now, if you're taking single shots, you can, it, it, the camera can stream to the, to the phone. Yes. But for time lapse, it saves to the, to the memory on the camera. Yeah, because there's too much bandwidth. Uh, yeah. Because, it, you know, when the camera is exposing uh, time lapse, the, the shutter is open for a minute, you know, for astrophotography, for instance, you know, night photography, you're, you're taking long exposures. So uh, streaming is not an option, streaming to the, to the phone. But you can uh, do single exposure transfers to the phone. It will do that. Yeah, this uh, this software is excellent because I I'm getting the uh, the histogram. I can control the the manual focus, the auto white balance. Oops, I didn't want to do that. I can control the uh, the the uh, exposure time, the ISO, uh, the aperture. I mean, it, it's all here. Pretty cool. <laughs> and of course, the phone is using its own power. So um, if your phone can't operate for an hour or more, it's not going to work. Now, there are devices you can put between here like uh, and run the, the phone on the battery pack, but it becomes more complicated, more cables, more things to go wrong. And you saw how much trouble I had at first. I didn't, uh, it, it wouldn't work because I just simply didn't push on this hard enough. Crazy. Is it, you know, the case is interfering with the plug here. Okay, I'm going to stop the software. Exit. Okay, turn off the camera. So, on the go. On the go, the two cables. On the go, focus.
I love this little guy. It's amazing. I just bought a new camera. It's 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 on the suction cup out my window here. Um, I can show it to you. Wait a minute. Let me launch. Let me suppress this. This. Come on here. Here. Network. Did you buy a DSLR? I've had this for about eight years. <laughs> oh, oh, no, you, you said, said you just bought a new camera. camera. Thought... Oh, it's, I, I'm trying to show it to you. Uh, it, it's, um, it's not working for some reason. How do I bring back the uh, I video exit minimum? There we go. OK, so share screen. Here, share. Yeah, I'm still learning how to do this. Now, can you see this? Yes. yes. Can you hear the uh, cars going by? Yes. yes. Now, this camera costs thirty-five dollars, and it's point. It, it's pan tilt. I can move it. So on my uh, on my phone. I can launch the, the controller for it. I'll do that now. I don't know if you can, I don't know how to bring up my, uh, my thumbnail. There we go. So I'm launching the software to control the camera. The uh, image quality is not so good. Let me turn off this light here. this one off too. Okay, now, well that doesn't work at all, does it? <laughs> so, launch the camera. Okay, I'm connected to the camera, and down here is the pan tilt. So, if I, I can move the camera. See? Yeah, you can see the park. Yes, isn't that great? Yeah. yeah. I would love to be able to put this elsewhere, but the uh, I, I'm I, I'm stretching it now because the housing authority doesn't like this. They can go take a flying leap. So it lets me see the sky, so I can watch the sky. And you see the uh, the video is also on the on the phone, and the the, the the next step is I can share this online, so I can actually publish this, um, you know, in, in a website or whatever. I don't know why why the camera is so frosty. Let's see if I can help it off a little bit. No, that didn't help. You know, and for 35 bucks, it's it's high definition. It, it's two-way audio. With the app, I can talk to the camera. And it talks back, you know, telling me, uh, you know, its status. Internet connected, you know, it's, it's a nice woman talking. I don't know how they do this. For 35 bucks, pan tilt with high definition. And, it, and, and it's great at night. It has really good night. You know, low light capability. I mean, it doesn't have all the bells and whistles that a high-end camera has. You can see I can, I can, uh, I can see the entire street here. Pretty cool. Come on, let me spot this up. There we go. 
Pretty good, huh? So, so what, what kind, kind of, of camera, camera is, is it again? again? Uh, it's Sonoff. Sonoff makes uh, Internet of Things, you know, stuff for your home, home automation. Okay. okay. Not, Not much, much traffic, traffic right, right now. now. <laughs> good. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop the, uh, the stream here. Here, the screen sharing has stopped. There, that's pretty cool. I mean, things are improving. I'm, I, I I'm all the time uh, scanning the internet for new stuff and. When the, when that camera was announced for for uh, thirty five bucks, I said that's I'm getting it. You know, it, it, you're not risking much for thirty five bucks if it does if it doesn't if it doesn't perform well. Thirty five bucks, it's not not a big deal, but it works real well. So um, I put it outside. <laughs> it's not an outside camera, but yeah. the, the overhang protects it here. Well, well thank, thank you for, for doing, doing this. this. This, this was, was really, really great. great. I, I thought, thought it worked work good. It, it would, would be good, good if we had a few more participants. I, I thought, thought maybe Bill and Sherry were going to... Actually, Sherry said, said she wasn't was really yeah. happy, happy with, with uh, doing yeah, online yeah. stuff, but she prefers, prefers to just be at the regular meetings. But uh, Bill, Bill, I thought, was maybe going to join us, but maybe next yeah. time. I had Dr. Pritchard ask specifically, so I'm surprised he didn't join in. Well, I think yeah, one of the things was, I mean, maybe we shouldn't have posted that people needed to actually download Zoom because I don't think you do. You just oh. click on the link and you don't have to. I don't have it on, installed on my oh, okay. computer, well, so you don't, you don't have to have it. So. I guess the thing, if we do this again, would be to tell people they don't need, if they do it on their computer, I know for sure, all you have to do is click on the link. I haven't tried it on my cell phone, but I'm assuming it would be the same, right? I think so. Yeah, that, yes. And that might make it easier because some people are not really into installing new stuff on their cell phone or computer. And, and well, so. it seems to work pretty well. Okay. Well, yeah. thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yeah. Appreciate it. My I first Zoom, Zoom, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we, we did, we did my mother-in-law's 89-year-old birthday on Zoom, and um, we had people from London, Hawaii, East Coast, California. We were 15 of us. And, you know, funny thing was we never would have gotten together because yeah. we wouldn't have physically been able to do that even if there wasn't the virus, right? I mean, that's right. a nice thing that, you know, these people that are in London, I mean, not, well, they yeah. still had to like, get up at 4 a.m. But they decided to do it and thought it was great. And by the way, we're doing pretty good compared to London. Uh, my nephew is there. Um, they live in the middle of London, and they are only allowed to go outside one hour a day. Wow. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Uh, so I we're know, doing pretty good, relatively. <laughs> I know people who live, uh, like, in um, uh, Brentwood, you know, high end. And uh, it, it's, like, total lockdown there. They, it's, it's a ghost town. Yeah. But anyways, but anyways, I think, I think it, it worked, worked pretty, pretty good. good. So, so thank, thank you for, for setting it up and running it. Well, I tried. Thank you very much. The YouTube, <laughs> YouTube stream seems to be uh, intermittent, so we'll see. We'll see how it works. So I, I'll uh, I'll publish the YouTube stream and send it to you, Karen, and you can. Share okay. It. Okay. Okay. And very good. Have, uh, Karen and I have a project going to do a map, uh, but it's not forthcoming with all of these troubles we're having <laughs> and of course it rained for the past two weeks so that that put a cleotus on that yeah. too so so uh, uh 
we're going to have to do some kind of forensic uh, analysis of what kind of light, to, uh, you know, what kind of, what, what, what what might work. work. You know, one color light and different color filter or whatever to try and get, you know, bring out the contrast in the map because it's it was very cloudy, very cloudy looking. The dark paper, dark brown paper. It's it's aged. It wasn't acid free paper, and the the lines have faded. But we'll we'll get it done. It's just going to take a while. Uh, yep. yep. It, well, it's out there for at least ten years since I found out about it. So, you know, yeah. <laughs> wait, wait a while, while longer. longer. It's an old. Man. All right. Well, good. Good night, everybody. Well, good night. Good, night. Yeah, good, good night. to see you everybody, you guys. Okay, I'm going to end the meeting now. All right. All right.